up guys welcome to the new rock on vlog Opa. and today we're gonna check if an expensive high-tech suspension will make a difference on my 890 Duke car that I use on the racetrack on the weekends or am I just throwing away money for specs on the paper as you saw the WP upgrade on my 790 Duke stunt bike made a huge difference as you saw the kangaroo stop is went so high but today's vlog is not about to go higher but faster around the track and we are today at the wp authorized center and the guys are already waiting so let's go inside and let's wrench Man, this place looks like a rocket ship workshop, uh, like crazy machines all around that place. And Bernard is the scientist behind that workshop. And Bernard, where are we exactly? Rock, we're here in Talga. This is nearby Salzburg. We are at VP Service Center and we rebuilt your bike with the new VP Apex system. Should we start to work? Let's start. trick actually when you take down your front wheel usually the brake calipers are like dangling or how you call it all around and they can hit the rim so we have a quick trick here you just take the zip tie and zip it exhaust or a crash cage or some point that you can fix them and they are not flying all around and that's cool disassemble the front forks and before we put the new cartridges in, into the fork I want to show you something that I just learned and it's the difference between the open cartridge and the closed cartridge we had in the 890 Duke car now this and that's the open cartridge this looks like that it's made out of steel you can have also out of aluminum aluminum and this is the so-called closed cartridge and I can feel already it's way lighter completely out of aluminum and this piece is closed cartridge and it's under pressure which means the starting of the damping is uh, smoother you said right mm -hmm. and which means then on the tire you have a better feedback because the tire rolls smoother and you have more confidence uh, about the grip on the tire so it's actually a huge difference between the closed cartridge and the opened one so let's put the new babies in and let's continue Okay, let's start. the rear shock now but before we do that here a quick comparison what's the difference between those two shocks so here is the VP Apex that was in the 890R and this is the Apex Pro 
and I would put it this way this suspension is actually very very good for the road and also good for rookie riders such as me that wants to race on the weekends because it's also fully adjustable but as time passes you are faster on the racetrack and you want to attack the corners more aggressively then you need a better suspension that handles the stress way better and that you can adjust more precisely and that's why you need then the VP Apex Pro we also measured the weight before and it is also a half a kilo lighter which is also important and it has also one adjustment more and that's the length adjustment so this is very very shortly explained it has even more technology in it so you can read about it in the link in the description below and we will now put it in the bike So the 890 became now even more pro as it was so we have a proper suspension now on the bike and Berhard thank you for your work so do I need to change something now when I go to the racetrack or do I need to adjust some some stuff here or uh, rock for your first um, rollout will be the setting now okay uh -huh, okay if you have questions on the racetrack take your phone and call me and I will help you perform okay perfect so Everything is ready now. So, by the way, you said that you are repairing uh, suspension from all around the world, right? Mm -hmm. I really like your service and the way you do everything really precisely. I love that kind of uh, style of wrenching around. So guys, if you want to repair your suspension or tune your suspension, so you have a link below and you can send it to Bernhardt and he will make sure that your suspension is next level. So we have now the high-tech suspension on the bike. It's not the cheapest one, but it's definitely high-tech. This is what it says on the paper, and this is what Bernhardt says. So only test will tell if I will be faster. So we need to go to the racetrack, and we need to test actually, right Dominic? Only the test will show. Exactly, so let's load the bike and let's go to the racetrack. Dude, I'm warm not. The first feeling is good. First feeling is amazing, man. I, I I feel I'm riding a completely different bike, so I'm so pumped now to see if we are faster. Let's do it. Okay, let's go. Okay, go, go, go. Go, 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 go. Brake heater. Second gear, stay the second. Okay, okay, okay. Go, 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 go. Yeah, nice, nice, nice. Okay, third one. Okay, my rib section here. Very crucial. I go in. I hear fast on the right. Ah, too late. Okay, here. Big puff section, let's go. Stay in the second. Okay, accelerate suit. Oh. Oh, yo. Yep. What was that? I went all the in the neutral man. Third round, last round. 
still didn't beat the time i flew down from the track so pressure is more than on so let's see if i can beat the time okay Either. Stay in the second. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Boom. Okay. Maribi section done. Fifth puff. guys it's so hard to comment when i'm super focused and i want to be the time i had a pretty good feeling but let's see man if we be the time it's probably a very small difference because that suspension is probably made for bigger tracks so let's see i'm super yeah curious if we made it See the time. 46.5, man. Good job. That's a huge improvement. I need to say I'm coming to my rookie limits. <laughs> but we, we are faster, yeah. Yeah. Woohoo! Oh, man. Damn, that bike is sick. Super skull pedal. Just became next level, Dominic. <laughs> so what's the feeling? Uh, what's the feeling? Yeah, man. I feel way way safer with with this upgrade now Actually when I go now on the on the straight when I come to the brake heater The bike doesn't like wobble around it actually stays planted because the suspension is no way uh, stiffer and Handles the stress way better and then it, when I lay in the corner of course there are really short corners So I'm not laying a lot in the corner, but still I feel a bit more stable i feel more the feedback from the tire so i love that suspension so it's definitely i feel the upgrade i feel the improvement on, on the bike okay but you never said how much the suspension costs that's true man so the front forks they cost around 1600 euros and the rear shock is around 1200 euros so would you buy it for yourself now i would say yes before no why not before because when I was still a rookie I'm still a rookie but for the beginning the R version suspension the, the apex is more than enough but now when I ride more and I race more on the weekends uh, I, I, I feel I need a bit better suspension so now I see the difference and I would definitely buy it if I would continue more to race which I will but I will still be a rookie, I will never go pro, but for someone that wants to be more professional in his racing, definitely this Apex Pro suspension I would recommend and they have not only for the KTM bikes, but also for all the other brands, Yamaha, Honda and so on. And guys, I really love that suspension and I'm super psyched for the upgrade that we did. So now I would suggest to something that everybody likes, enjoy the bike part. Sorry guys, I love my uh, <laughs> my bike. Uh, huge thanks to WP once again for giving me this amazing suspension and bring my bikes to the next level. The stunt bike is flying high. This one is now going faster around the track. And also thank you Bernhard for setting it up. Thank you for all the tips. And a quick note, also Bernhard told me if you race on a different racetracks, always set up the suspension new. If you don't know how to do it yourself, find somebody that 
can and this is how you're gonna get the most out of your suspension and you're gonna be quicker around the track is something that we should do here next time I have a feeling we can be a bit more faster and you didn't do the drone shots today right no we have somebody new here hi guys Send FPV. Send FPV and he made really epic drone shots I don't see the footage yet but I saw you, you next to me like really really close I thought we we're gonna crash yeah I got pretty close to it, it was <laughs> like one meter between us so that was pretty epic thank you for uh, joining us uh, thank you for delivering the cool footage and this is it guys we are on the end of the vlog the bike is going faster yes and yeah see you next week and until then rock on